really exciting that this year to see how many top guys are running and 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 ladies um, and yeah I'm, I'm super super stoked to be here again it's, it's been a a while and um, yeah I think it's gonna be really epic tomorrow yeah the prologue is always very fast and super fast is not my thing so <laughs> not really a good judge of how tomorrow will go but yeah trail is wet slippery um, but beautifully green and looking forward to the run tomorrow why do I keep coming back to the, back to the otter trail well I mean look at the view behind me it's kind of hard not to come back to something that this is that's the special um, the trail really has such diversity and such uh, beautiful views the whole way through that you can't really can't really not come back it grabs your heart really um, and the community here is just next to none so super grateful to be here and super psyched I'll keep coming back every year as long as I can the winner is gonna have to go sub four tomorrow if, if conditions play along obviously if it's a bit wet or a bit wet underfoot it might slow things down but I, I think with, with the caliber of running or sorry the caliber of, of runner here this this year it'll definitely be a, a sub four tomorrow so uh, I'm here, here at the finish line this is where it's all gonna come down tomorrow around about 11 o'clock probably one of the most anticipated moments in South African trail running uh, this year uh, the big question is can a South African uh, man run under four hours and who's it gonna be those are the two questions uh, in the man's race and in the women's race also who's it going to be and can a woman do 440 uh, and there's a there's a prize incentive for 50,000 rand up for anyone who does break those two landmarks and uh, basically a stacked field all the top runners in South Africa are here so it is super exciting <laughs>